I'm in the market for an EV. Yep. I got an old Merc 350, lots of petrol, cost yep. me the earth. I got a big <laughs> solar system. Yep. I want to run it for free. Why would I want to buy a Hyundai? 15 years ago, you would get a Hyundai XL to yep. get rid of your mother-in-law, and now you want one. Well, look, our Ionic 5 ends. Uh, a lot of electric cars, they can go zero to 100 in what, like three seconds, very standard. But something that electric cars miss out on is character. Our Ionic 5 hand has character. When you're driving it, it feels like you're driving a car. Right, right, <laughs> it's right. fun to drive. Um, you can shift gears in it and it feels like a combustion car. I've driven these on track before right. and it's a lot of fun. I couldn't tell the difference if I was driving an i30N and an Ionic 5N, except this was super powerful. But why haven't you bought one yet? They haven't given you the pay rise yet, is it? <laughs> yeah. Shh, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't get paid either. And what are you up for for one sexy thing like that? Driveway price in New South Wales is about 118000 So why wouldn't I go with the Genesis for just another 20 grand more? I mean, it's a tough question and you work for well, the company, yeah, but... absolutely. I mean, Genesis, they're, they're a luxury brand. This is a premium car as well. Genesis are great cars. But I would have thought that it was kind of like 98000 or something. You just try and below the 100. So what do you get for it? Why is it Why is it that price? Do you get a really long range or...? Well, this car is built bottom up as a track vehicle. So you can take this car on a track. It's an everyday sports car. Right. Um, so our three pillars, everyday sports car, corner rascal, and track capability. You can change the suspension tunings. You can change the steering. So it's a light steering for your everyday one-handed drive. And then when you feel like it, you just want to go a little bit more fast, switch the mode, uh, pressing one of the end buttons, and you turn into a corner rascal. Taking corners pretty tight. What about try. some kind of more middle-aged, kind of gentle as you go kind of drive range? You do that on yes, that car too? Absolutely. We do have three basic modes right. uh, out of the end mode. So you got the eco, you got the comfort, and you got your sports right. uh, just for a quick swap. I think I'm comfort. <laughs> yeah, so you switch to the comfort. Yeah. Uh, the vehicle has a WLTP of 451 kilometers. That's right. 450, is 451, it? 451, yeah. 51. Yep. Chief, I don't get that one. one. Get one. Get one <laughs> what about the warranties? Five years? Five years, years warranty and eight years battery warranty as well. 160,000 kilometers. What happens at year nine? Does it fall over? Or no, 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 it doesn't. Our vehicle batteries are built to last. This is not a Hyundai specific question, but this is a question that EV drivers will ask themselves down the track. You've got a car, it's now 10 years old. If I've got a petrol car and the engine got 90 on it, I can still sell it and I get something for it because some students want to drive another five, six, eight years. But when you got the battery that's now getting towards the end and the car's already 10 years old, what do I do? Do I refurbish the battery? Yep. And yep. is it worth it for the car yep. or is there going to be a refurbished battery market? I mean, how do we see the future on that? You can maintain the battery for 10 10, 15 years, however long you'd like. It's battery maintenance, you know. Is that, is that if I don't really power charge it every time and yeah, whack so it hard and I give it the charging, gentle... Yeah, that's right. Power charging DC uh, constantly will degrade the battery. But, you know, if you are charging it at home, cool. gently using your AC charger and charging it up to 80% maximum, that would maintain the battery, just like a phone battery. My missus, if I want to buy the car for myself, possibly give me a, a limit on how much I'm allowed to spend. So I'm not sure if six figures is in the limit. So have you got anything on, on a more of a budget kind yeah, of absolutely, angle. Absolutely, absolutely. So we have our only something five. that you and I can afford. <laughs> you and I both know the only reason that you're here is because we're poor. We've got an Ionic 5 and an Ionic 6 over here. They are beautiful cars. Look, that, that does look very impressive. Yeah. Are these all light up or is it just for... Yeah, these over here light up. So the driveway on this one is about 70,000. Um, and this can go all the way up to 94, depending on what trim and specs you want. And, and range with battery as well? Yep, so range, we've got our standard battery, which yeah. is about 380. Right. And this can go all the way up to 500. And this one over there? Uh, this one over here is our Ionic 6. That looks very sporty, like a race car kind yes. of look. Uh, I mean, look, the design is very intentional. It's designed to be as slippery as possible so we can get the best range out of the vehicle. Our highest range on this vehicle can go up to 614 kilometers. Gee, that's a decent that's number. That's a lot. Yep, yep, yep. So you can travel all around Australia with this. And no, I, I mean, if I buy an EV and it, I know it's got a six in front, I would feel rather relaxed. I think I'll find a charge station somewhere between now and 600 Ks. Yep. So this is the new model. This is the old model. So the new model will cost more, won't it? Uh, they're, they're both new models. They're ah. both the MY24 models. Ah, so it's not five follows six. There's a five and a six, and they're both coming out at the same time. Yeah. Uh, oh, the... I mean, one. this one comes out a sl slight bit later. But SUV, for people that want SUVs, we've got a sedan, because we want to, you know, give as many people uh, the, the options. Choices. Choices. And cost-wise, a bit more than the 70-something? Yeah, a little bit more. Top of my head. Oh, I've got to find out. I've got to pull out my... 
Let's just put a cheap price on it and then people go to the dealer and say, that's what I heard. 39,000 beats the BYD. 70,000? Yes. Uh, all the way to 94. And, and if I become your friend and get the staff discount, what happens then? <laughs> What's this one called? Oh the, oh, the Kona. I've heard definitely heard that name. Our Kona's drive away is about 58, goes up to 73. Oh, so really, that's the one I can afford. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look, depending what's on your budget, uh, these vehicles are really great. Um, range, still, range, long range, range on the Kona. Uh, oh, I have to pull it out again. Not See, if you only have one range. model on your floor, you will know all the numbers, but the poor bastard that he's got a note for. So the kilometers for this car is starts at 370 and goes up to 505 kilometers. So it's different models up to five for five. Okay. And which one at the moment is the most popular in terms of is the Kona? I mean, I've heard a lot of reviews on the Kona. They're, they're all really popular. Oh, that's the right answer for the sales guy. <laughs> you tell him to give you a raise and you tell him how much you want. They're all very popular cars. Uh, I mean, we're one of the only companies that design cars with character. I, that's my opinion. <laughs> uh, I, I heard somebody's come back from China and they said their cars, they look really, really weird, but they're not bringing them outside China because the European buyers are very conservative. You are actually on the edge of being a little bit more funky, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I mean, I think our designs are unique. Uh, I think they, same words I use, it's just it's got so much character to the vehicle. They're flashy. They look super premium. I mean, I really like your enthusiasm. From all the sales guys so far, you definitely have the sparkle. I don't know if you took something this morning, but uh, you're really you're really on fire. I like it. By the way, is this where you charge? That's right. For the Kona, is that this is where you charge the vehicle? How does it work? You push it in, or do yeah, you... it's car car's currently locked at the moment, so that's just locked up. I've actually <laughs> saw this clip where some bloody Tesla driver was driving to the petrol station looking for where to put it. Oh, really? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if it was a joke or not, but uh, somebody has a video somewhere. Look, you got a wide range. You're in my top three, but uh, I also like the Genesis. They are great cars. Mm. They're great luxury mm. vehicles. As yeah. long as you buy a Hyundai, I'm, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell, and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.